Hello everyone, it's Niven, and today I am making CopperCube 6 tutorial video. CopperCube 6 is a free game engine which is available for free. The download link is in the description. You can download it and follow me along with this tutorial. For today, we will be talking about prefabs. What are they, how to install them, and where to get them. As you know from the previous tutorials, I've talked about our five main screens. We have Scene Graph Explorer, which corresponds to the objects in the main screen. We have Properties, which corresponds to the each object in the screen, for example, this cube. We have prefabs, which I will be talking about today, and we have textures. Now, what are exactly prefabs? Let me get this bigger, and here we go. Now, I have all those prefabs downloaded, and I will show you everything step by step of how to use those. So prefabs are in-game built 3D objects which you can install for the CopperCube 6 and then use it simply by clicking on them. For example, let's pick an animated man. We click on it twice and as you can see we have it on the main screen. And it's all animated, it has all the materials and it has it doesn't have behaviors yet, but it has all the materials and all the attributes with animation. Now, those prefabs are free to download and I will show you where and how to download them. This is the site which I will be giving the link to called ambiera.com and this is their made free 3D models and prefabs for Copper Cube. Now, as you can see, there are many of them. Uh, there is tank, coast guard, boat, a car, uh, excavator, uh, there is a ship, uh, there is roads and railways, uh, 3D models, including uh, barriers, bridges, bus stops. We have a soldier animated, we have speedster, we have bridges, and we have all those things. Here, we have sci-fi level pack too, which you can download and use. We have animated space fighter, spaceship, we have goblin, uh, we have interior design, all the uh, wardrobes, clocks, and we have also mall and five huge empty buildings. Now, as you can see, you can click on any of those and it will download directly to your PC or Mac. Now, how do this work? How to use them? We download the zip archive, extract its content to a folder on our disk, and then in CopperCube, right-click into the prefab window and select Add Directory with the prefabs. And we are back to our CopperCube. So, once again, in the prefabs window, you click right mouse button and then you add add directory with prefabs when you click this you will be directed to the folder where you save the downloaded prefabs and then you click on that folder and it will allow you to bring all the downloaded prefabs into the game engine like this now let's go back to the site and we should talk about licensing and publishing our own prefabs. As far as it goes for the licensing, it's uh, basically free extensions uh, for the free use of CopperCube, although these 3D models are provided as without any express or implied warranty and permission is granted to anyone to use these 3D models in apps created by CopperCube and subject to the following restrictions and those restrictions are that the origin of these models must not be mis misrepresented. Uh, you must not claim that you created them. If you use them 3D models in a product, uh, you should acknowledge uh, that the product uh, has uh, been published on this side and blah blah blah. The same, the basic uh, uh, CC license which allows you to create something but do not sell it. So in this case, if this doesn't work for you, if you want to make games to sell them, then 
prefabs are not your choice but if you want to have fun like me if you want to create games if you want to uh, have the community create the community and uh, uh, make that special experience for everyone you should download prefabs because they're easy uh, to make games with and fun to make games with and those basically are it now how to publish your own prefabs here now that's most important part because you might not want to use someone else's prefab but you want to use your own right some of the users for example may be uh, a blender users uh, or other 3d modeling software users so you can actually create your own prefab use it and then you can commercially uh, market your game so just send us your prefab see mail address here uh, add your full name and write your uh, that you agree that your 3d model will be published here under the copper cube prefab license that's it if you like include a website address to the published here so basically uh, there is uh, documentation uh, files which you can uh, click and it will give you uh, the address for the Nbiera uh, email and you can send them your own prefabs and they might include those in uh, this uh, section in this description we are back to the copper cube now let's uh, delete all of this and let's just create uh, a room right we know how to create a room this is it and let's just add some uh, uh, prefabs for example a nightstand right here we can add a nightstand which is which kind of looks like this it has well let's rotate uh, this like that uh, we can use a lamp which will be on the ceiling unfortunately this is not arched uh, this is arched ceiling and not flat ceiling um, once again we can uh, create um, let's see what do we have in the house we have a table right here and also we can use a television set right here as you can see television is way bigger than our table which is kind of what everyone wants i think like i would love to have big tv and smaller table but unfortunately i don't i have small tv and um, bigger table <laughs> anyways i'm making this just f to showcase i'm not worrying right now about uh the size or uh the um dimensions so now let's create a camera how to create camera once again we go to create create a camera and first person shooter camera and now publish and as you can see we have everything in here it's all done it's a simple not so realistic room with all the dimensions but still it has a lamp it has a table it has a TV stand it has uh, um, uh, wardrobe drawer and uh, yeah that's basically how you just simply import those prefabs and then you change the sizes for example if we click on the nightstand we can go here and scale it to two 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 and if we go and press test here this becomes much more visible and much bigger that's it for today i hope i helped with the prefabs i explained the basics once again i'm making tutorials to explain the basics of copper cube 6 uh, in case if you want some advanced level of um, advanced tutorial I'll be making those uh, further in the future of course from right now I just want everyone to see how easy it is to use Coppercube 6 because some developers get demotivated because they see uh, those uh, screens and all this uh, 
buttons and they're like, oh, I don't know how to use it and I will never learn how to use it. But trust me, I was a beginner for this. I didn't know how to use it, but I wanted to learn. And that's what should be your motivation. You should want to learn. You should want to explore and go deeper. And then you can understand not only the game engine, but everything else, any software, any subject, anything. It's all about the it's all about seeking the knowledge and seeking uh, the understanding of simple things like for example how to uh, move this drawer up and down which is kind of easy thanks everyone for watching i hope you did like my tutorial if you have any questions please leave your questions in the comment section once again thanks for watching have an amazing day